on the uh, line with me now is Jim Donahue. Uh, he's joining us again from Lawrence Electrical to help the uh, help us, Lawrence Electric, excuse me, to help us figure out what's going on. Hey, James, how you doing? Hey, Tara, how are you? Good morning. Good. Good morning. What? Okay, so get, so uh, uh, first of all, tell us again where do you where do you guys cover what areas? Yeah, so we we're, we are in Greenville County, Spartanburg County, Lawrence County primarily. And that's the majority of our members, but half half being in Greenville County, and then we also have some some members in Anderson, Newberry, and Abbeville, with a total membership of about sixty four thousand members customers. Okay, and um, what I know yesterday, you you had said it might be Monday before some of these people get power back, just given the situation you're dealing with. Can you give us an update on where you are? Yeah, sure. Um, as of as of this morning, we have thirty six thousand two hundred and ninety one that are that are restored. That's fifty fifty seven percent of our membership. So we. You know, so we uh, still have forty three uh, percent that, that that we are we're working to restore. We have we we have assessed more of our system, and we're up to three hundred plus broken poles. We have um, two hundred twenty five crews with four hundred fifty personnel. That's line technicians, right away workers that are going to be out in the field today. And we are working to get more. We're, oh, it's a continued process. Of, uh, we want to continue to bring in more workers. More workers means we can get the get the power, get the lines restored quicker, and get the power on faster. Fantastic. Um, any idea where you might be? By I know for people, it's like, hey, tonight am I going to have power? Tomorrow am I going to have power? What is the timeline? You know, and this is the hardest part with, with the severity of the damage that that the system has taken, it, it's very difficult to get timelines, um, you know, and I don't, I don't like to, you know, you always want to talk about good news, good things, positive things. And the positive thing is, is that everyone is working as hard and as fast as possible. But, um, you know, with, with the amount of damage, it, it's just going to take some time. Um, you know, you get into the, into the more rural areas, the lines are longer, the, the circuits are longer. And then you have secondary lines from those circuits and then feeder lines. And so it, it takes time to rebuild all that. And for an example, if you're, if you're in a more urban area and we rebuild a circuit, well, there's, it, it could be a sub, subdivision right there. So when you fix it, when you rebuild the circuit, you feed the subdivision, 300 homes come on, right? So when you're in the rural community and you fix that circuit, you might have another half mile of secondary line to rebuild, and then you're, you, you feed, you, you restore 10 people. So that, that, that's kind of the situation that, that you get into. But um, I, I, I promise you that uh, our guys and, and girls, our line workers, are right away are working very hard. They understand, you know, they have families in, this, in their communities. They live in these communities, and they want, you know, they want to get home to their families. So I can promise you that they are dedicated to working as fast and as safe as possible. What can people do if they want um, just to get updates from you or, you know, kind of get an idea of, what, of what's going on? Yeah, absolutely. And that is one of, one of our major objectives is to be open and transparent as possible. And to, so that we have many channels. Uh, you, can, you can email us. I think that, you know, most effective, I would encourage people to follow us on social media. Uh, we give regular update, regular updates on social media. Uh, the news, listen to the news. We give releases to the news three, four times a day. Uh, that's what I would encourage members to do. Sign up for um, text, get text notifications from us. We give updates uh, using that channel as well. Jim Donahue, uh, thank you so much for joining us this morning on 98.9 WORD. Thank you, Tara.